see that the correct rows of lace and forks are. This is how they should look at the back. You may often see uh, girls wearing corsets where the bow is at the bottom or the bow is at the top. Um, but to get the best silhouette, um, you need to pull in from both the bottom and the top so that you create the loops at the, in the centre here. So I'll just undo this bow. designed to take approximately four inches of your normal waist measurement and they're designed to give you a natural curve just to enhance your curves. It's not we're not going for a tight lacing or an extreme look. Um, you just want to enhance enhance what you've got. Um, and if you're curvy to start with the better. Um, but you know we design corsets for anyone from well, any, up to any size basically we can do we can make for Okay, so. And ladies, you can see mine too because Julie did mine in the loom. And you always go, very quick. And you took two minutes, one of them. Okay then, so I'll just undo the bow. Now, this is a front opening as well. So put a bow on the front, but then you can't have any details. You can have any sort of embellishment on the front. And it depends again on what you're wearing the corset for, whether it's to go out or just a very simple one. So, and this is called an underbust corset, uh, which basically means it's enhancing as you want. It's obvious what it's doing. Uh, it's enhancing the waist. Um, but also we do a half cut and a curve. The curve is the Dita curve is the corset that Sally's wearing this evening. As you can see, that's the full length corset there. She looks fantastic in that. I'm going to spin you out again. Okay, so I'm going to undo this one and then we're just going to put a longer line corset on. So to undo it, it's really straightforward. You just slacken it off at the back, and this is the bit where you'll see that Bex isn't actually completely shaped normally. <laughs> Bex, you're going to be able to breathe again. Yeah. I have an actual 30 inch waist, so I'll take off 8 inches. Yeah. That is Bex, amazing. Bex can take off 8 inches. Um, Bex, which used to work in terms of 12, so you can do 12. This is a, um, I mean, Bex is pretty experienced at wearing corsets. So you can start off, I mean, the one I put Sally in this evening is taking four inches off uh, her natural waist, and you can get that a lot tighter. Okay, so just slacken it off, and instead it's sort of still boning, um, and it's all handmade, so we just slacken that off, and you just do it evenly, and then we can just unclip the front here. Uh, 
you can start off by you put you take off a few inches and then you leave it to leave it to rest a bit because obviously you're, you're moving um, your body so it's all displacing. Um, so you want to force it the fabric and the bone to warm up as you put it in. Uh, so if you're um, if you're not experienced at wearing corsets, you can corsets you could just pull in a little bit, but later on you will feel you want to go for that extra bit and pull in again and you won't feel you won't feel anything. You can bring it very easily. You feel that when you tight lace like I do, even if you're um, wearing corset for the first time, you breathe slightly higher up. Um, you will be absolutely fine. So this is this is really loose for me. So I'm having I feel I feel like I'm having a, a night off tonight. It's great. Um, so we can really pull the same, but again, you you work down from the top and then up from the bottom and really pull it into the middle and then you get the curve and you can start off with a really perfect curve. You can wear corsets even if. If you have a more boyish figure, it will create the waist for you because we all have a little bit of switch underneath of our rib cages. Um, but then you can be really beautifully voluptuous and you just enhance all of your curves to the full, which I think is the most beautiful. Zelda actually started making corsets for more curvy women, so she's the expert in the hourglass curvy corset. Um, I wish we could put work on somebody, um, but I think that's when it's the most beautiful and uh, on curves, but they create curves, which is something I think women should be proud of. And there we go, can we end with more? We can go, there we go. I'm going to hand the mic over to Julie and I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself. <laughs> do it yourself. And this is to demonstrate you can actually do it on your own. Um, and this is, so this is going really tight as well. So a lot of people say there's no way you can do it on your own, but as you can see, Alex is going to demonstrate that you can. Because this is a bit that concerns a lot of people, if you're on your own, um, getting ready or something. So, that looks really good. And this is a nice long line, so going to enhance the, so it sits flush on the hips. Um, so you can wear this one as it is with a long skirt, you can wear it in trousers, um, you can wear it in stockings, and suspenders. And this is, um, I think this is a 22 inch, isn't it? This is 22 inch waist, corset. So, um, is that okay? It's fantastic. Yeah. It looks amazing. Okay. Thank you. Um, if anybody's got any questions, like anybody would like to try one on, we've got a couple of, um, like a nice pinstripe one, if somebody just wanted to try and come up and put it on over there, out of the various things. Has anybody never worn a corset before? Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just laughing. It's quite safe.
Another thing about courses is they actually give you fantastic posture. So you'll find if you sit, you stand taller. Um, it makes you look more elegant. And this is the thing, if you have your waist lifting, your boobs lock to your mind. 